हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन सेव न्यू फाइल्स फ्रॉम गूगल ड्राइव टू एयर टेबल ऑटोमेटिकली सो द आइडिया हियर इज दैट यू आर यूजिंग गूगल ड्राइव टू स्टोर योर फाइल्स नाउ यू वॉन्ट दैट वेन एवर यू अपलोड अ न्यू फाइल टू योर गूगल ड्राइव फोल्डर ऑटोमेटिकली द डिटेल्स ऑफ द फाइल शुड बी सेव इन टू योर एयर टेबल बेस For doing this, we need to create a connection between Google Drive and Airtable, so that whenever a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, automatically the details are added into the Airtable base. So, in this particular integration, we are saving the Google Drive files details in Airtable. So, Airtable is a spreadsheet program with database functionalities. So, in place of Airtable, we can even use Google Sheets, Grist, or any other spreadsheet program to save the record details. So how we are going to create an integration between Google Drive and Airtable this we will be learning in the further steps of the video first let us check this in the real time that how this complete process works automatically my Google Drive folder name Google Drive backup okay and this is my Airtable base so now i want that whenever i upload a file over here in my Google Drive folder automatically the details of the file should be saved into my Airtable base over here just for the backup So let us uh, upload a file over here. I'm just going to upload an image. Okay, I'll just find the image from my system. New use cases for Pabli Connect. Okay, let us upload this particular image. Okay, and here we can see that the image has been uploaded. I'm just going to close this window. Okay, now let us check our Airtable base. I'm just going to refresh it. Okay, and here we can find the file name that is new use cases for Pabli Connect. Here we can find the file type as PNG file. Here we can find the link of the file as well as the created date and time. So now here you might be wondering that I just uploaded a file over here in my Google Drive folder, and automatically the details of the file are saved here in my Airtable base. So how did I manage to do this? Let me tell you. This has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process. So in order to create an integration between Google Drive and Airtable we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Drive with Airtable automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So first we have to create an integration between Google Drive and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect is going to capture all the details of the file that you have uploaded into your Google Drive, and using those details of the files, automatically a new record will be created into your Airtable base. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Google Drive and Airtable using Pabli Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type p a b b l y pabli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option and you will get 100 task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Google Drive to Airtable integration. here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create now here we can see a trigger window and an action window so pabli connect works on the concept of trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so in this use case we want the details to be captured from google drive so open this trigger window here in the choose application let us find google drive In the trigger event we have to select new file click on connect 
click on add new connection and click on connect with google drive now here we have to choose an account so i'm just choosing my account over here Pabli Connect Drives wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. Okay, and now the Google Drive account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first I am going to upload a new file into my Google Drive folder so that after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the details of the file. So I'll just take you to my Google Drive folder. Here I have already created a folder named Google Drive Backup. I'm just going to open this particular folder. Okay. Here I'm just going to upload a file. Let's click on this plus sign new. Here I'm just going to click on file upload. I'm just going to search for the images which I'm having in my system. Okay. I'm just selecting this particular image that is core, core integrations. The image is getting uploaded over here. Okay, and here we can find the Pabli Connect core integrations image. Okay, here we can find core integrations. Now let us click on save and send test request here in Pabli Connect. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. Here we can find the file name that is core integrations. Here we can find the file type. So as this is an image file, we can find the PNG uh, type over here. And if it is a document, then you will be getting a doc file or the Excel file. So here we can find the file type. Okay. When we scroll down here, we can find all other details. Here we can find the link. Okay. Here we can find the web view link and all other details related to this particular file are captured over here. So now we want that the details of the file should be recorded in the Airtable base. For that, come to this action window. Here in the choose application, let us find Airtable. In the action event, we have to select create record, click on connect, click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the token. So let us read the instructions, log into Airtable and get your API key from the account section. So by clicking on this account, we can be redirected to the Airtable account or else I'll just take you to my Airtable account over here. So this is my Airtable account where I have created some bases. So I'll just take you to the profile picture over here. Just click on this profile. Here we can find the account option. Click on account. Now here when we scroll down here we can find the API key. So if you want to generate the API key again by clicking on this regenerate API key a new key can be generated or else I'm just going to copy this key from here and I will be pasting the same key over here in Pabli Connect. This key is the token. Okay and let's click on save. Okay, now the Airtable account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now, as we have created a connection, we can find all the bases over here which we have created in our Airtable account. Okay, I'll just show you the bases. So, I'll just take you to my Airtable account where I have already created a base. Okay, and the base name is Google Drive Data. I'm just going to open it. In this particular base, I have created a table named Backup. And here I have taken the uh, columns for the file name file type, link and the created date and time. If you want to add some more columns or fields to this particular table, by clicking on this plus sign, you can add the fields as per your requirement. So let us select this particular base in Pabli Connect. So I'm just going to find the same that is Google Drive data. Now here we can see that the table name is automatically captured just because I have created just one table in this particular base. So the table name is automatically captured. If you have created multiple tables from the drop down, you can select the table name. Okay. Now here we have to give the file name, file type, link. So we have already got all these details of the file here from the Google Drive. So we are going to map all these details now. Okay. I'm just going to map them one by one. Let us map the file name. For mapping, I'll just uh, click, click over here. Go to Google Drive. Here we can find the file name. Okay. Here we have to give the file type again from Google Drive and the file type is a PNG file. Here we have to map the link. Let us go to Google Drive once again. Here when we scroll down here we can find the web content link. I'm just going to map this. And here we have to map the created date and time. So let us find the created date and time over here. Okay. 
here we can find the created date and time okay so we have mapped all the details now let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means the details of the file are uh, captured in the Airtable account so let's move to Airtable oh, sorry this is the Airtable okay and here we can find the file name as core integrations here we can find the file type here we can find the link and here we can find the created date and time so in this way we can see that our integration is working fine so let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data saved successfully okay now we have to check this in the real time for that i'll just go to my google drive account once again okay i'm just going to upload one more file so let's click on this plus sign once again click on file upload okay and this time i'm just going to select the image okay this new integrations okay i'm selecting this image okay here we can see that the image is uploaded okay now we have to check our airtable database i'm just moving to airtable account i'm just going to refresh it okay and here we can find the file name as new integrations here we can find the file type as gif file here we can find the link and here we can find the created date and time so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between google drive and pabli connect then pabli connect has captured all the details of the file that we have uploaded in our google drive folder and using those details of the file automatically a new record is created into the airtable base and in this way we have created a successful integration between google drive and airtable using pabli connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with pabli connect in case of any queries you can connect us to this pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video and this video are helpful for you then please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone